Good morning everyone, welcome back to a brand new video. You might recognise the location I'm at. We are at the off-grid property today. Theo's getting the tractor ready because we've got loads of exciting work to get on with. I'm actually really looking forward to seeing the transformation and actually seeing how different this tractor is going to work compared to our old faithful one that we used to have when we did live here. It's such a gorgeous day, the birds, the crickets, everything is creating this gorgeous sound, the flowers are out, it smells absolutely divine and I'm looking forward to this day. Before we can get to cutting the grass though we need to just take the grapple out and put the bucket in because it really helps when we're cutting the grass it kind of picks up any lumps and bumps that are in the way beforehand so Theo knows what's hiding beneath that tarp is the exact same color as the tractor what are the odds it's like unraveling a gift every morning <laughs> i absolutely love going on the tractor i'd say the excavator is probably the number one for me i could spend weeks and weeks on the excavator i love it but the tractor's a close second. You're so cute. I saw a really funny thing the other day that was like, any husband will say yes to a wife who wants to move to a homestead because it's an excuse for him to get new tools. And I couldn't agree more. <laughs> So a lot of you guys were asking in the last video about the grapple. I've got it reinforced, so it's got extra big pieces of steel welded to it. And so far, it's a lot stronger, which I'm very happy with. And picking up the logs the other day, I picked up logs that I can't lift on my own. Like I can't even barely lift one side off the floor. So this, you lift it and it doesn't even feel like there's even You've lifted anything. And it's, it's not buckled after doing all that? No, it's not buckled. That's good. It's all good, but I need to take this off because I need the bucket for what I'm about to do next. I got my grease gun and my diesel fuel, so fresh tank of fuel, keep me going all day. And I just recently purchased this because I tell you what, you don't want dry nipples. So I've got, nips. you want greasy nips because all of your equipment is constantly moving. There's so many moving parts to the tractor. There's well over 20 to 30 on that tractor. Do you get chafing? Or? <laughs> no chafing, <laughs> but the excavator, it's got even more grease nipples. So I invested in this because after I was greasing by hand manually, basically my hand was so sore that I could barely do the work. Who so knew the greasing nipples would make your hands sore. Exactly. But yeah, let's get at it. So already this is an absolute game changer. This one could definitely do some. I'm just going around because I'm going to be using the bucket quite a lot in the next couple of days. You see it pop out between the joints. Ah, oh, gosh, yeah, I can see it. That is surprisingly satisfying. <laughs> it's lovely, really satisfying. Don't need to overdo it, just a little but regular is better, really. Like, just it says every 10 hours. I do it much more than every 10 hours. B bought me a really cool battery powered pump so I can pump straight from here into the fuel tank and there's no mess whatsoever, but obviously I forgot to bring it, which is great. 
old-fashioned way it is. So me and Theo have been living off-grid for the last 10 years and very remotely, which makes it super easy to not pay attention or even see the headlines that would normally be showering us from the newsstands as you walk through the city. And that's why we use Ground News for articles. With their app or website, we have access to global, international and local news. Their unbiased approach, along with their comprehensive coverage details and political bias distribution really sets them apart. Search for topics of interest, read trending headlines, or even use their blind spot page to show you articles and get a well-balanced perspective with our media bias. As an animal conservationist, I regularly read news about the natural world. And this one that I saw on Ground News is the perfect example to show you how Ground News works. Here you can see the number of news sources covering this and then the political bias of these sources. It's been mostly covered by left-leaning sources, so if you usually read from right-leaning sources, you may have never seen this. The headlines vary and it's interesting to see this left-leaning article spoke about climate change, whereas the centre-leaning articles cover population change. Brown News uses ratings from three independent news monitoring organisations to get these scores and share the articles on their site. So if you'd like to try out Grand News, then go to our link ground.news slash indie project to subscribe for 40% off the Vantage subscription, which is what we use. It is unbelievably satisfying watching grass get cut. It's about as satisfying as watching those clean talk videos, you know, where people clean their houses. And it, I mean, their houses are pretty clean anyway to begin with. And then by the end, you're like, oh, that was so satisfying to watch. Grass cutting is the same for me, like baking videos as well. You're seeing a process from start to finish. We've got the grass, which looks gorgeous right now. And then when it's cut, you're like, wow, that's such a difference. <laughs> Please let me know I'm not the only person that finds this satisfying. I could watch grass being cut all day, which is actually, funnily enough, what I'm doing today. Let me through the trees An angel's face In front of me in time and space Tapestry, stay full Lover's voice through the sash. My heart is finally found. It's crashing through my chest. Every beat like that steady drum. As I'm following Theo around, I can't get too close because there are some absolutely gigantic missiles. I've been picking some flowers, and these purple ones. I don't remember ever seeing them before and they are absolutely stunning. They're so pretty. So I've been picking them before the lawnmower goes over them. And I take them back with me and figure out what they are. If any of you know what they are, let's not get into this whole plant ID thing that we did last time. I mean, should I try? Maybe, will I? Possibly. Uh, but right now I'm not gonna because I'm filming. So I will focus on that and I'm gonna put these somewhere safe. I've just stopped for a quick water break. What a beautiful day. This place, in like half an hour being on the tractor, it's looking like a golf course, it's beautiful, which is what we want. That is why we're cutting now, because it will grow back. We'll probably have a bit more rain. And in Portugal, the sun is so beautiful and comes out always directly after the rain, which means that things grow so quickly here. But what we're trying to achieve, basically, is just get it looking magnificent because it is a magnificent place and we want to show it off the best we possibly can for the photo so we're keeping patches of wildflowers for the insects and also so when people are looking around it just looks on its very best day how quaint does the little chicken coop look i do love this a-frame it's so cute and with the flowers around it and the yellow broom and the beautiful oak tree and the olive tree it looks really nice I am 
I just finished cutting the grass in the orange orchard and every so often you drive over a couple of oranges and the chain that's spinning on my brush hog churns them up and it smells so nice and citrusy. So you can see how much I've managed to achieve so far with the tractor. I'd say I've probably got another two hours to go today hopefully if I'm lucky but I'm really getting through it. As I mentioned this is the orange orchard and one thing I just noticed which is pretty incredible and I've not cut this area because obviously with the tractor I can't get there but if you want to buy a property with a lot of water well this is one of them because the well here is actually overflowing at the moment and I took 5,000 litres out of that just a couple of days ago it's looking like a proper football pitch with all of the strips and not only have we got that well right there is a spring so there's plenty of water on here we have never run out i absolutely love how this is looking now look at that isn't that beautiful oak trees absolutely everywhere surrounded by granite stones that are just covered in moss there's also a nice big rock garden up here which was covered over with the broom that I cleared not so long ago so it's looking really really lovely like a river through the hills forever keeping promises and it always will all the days may turn and strong tree falls with steady gold So I've just stopped for another short break and look at this, I'm just lying in a bed of lavender. What a beautiful day. This is the start of the spring which doesn't last very long before summer here in Portugal. It's about to get really really warm but right now perfect conditions. Ah, oh, I'm a little bit frustrated. I was so close to finishing the whole job, literally completing the whole land but I probably got about half an hour 45 minutes maybe an hour tomorrow to finish this but i couldn't complete it because something broke on the tractor which was a little bit annoying because i didn't notice for about 10 minutes so i'll have to go back over what i just cut because it's a little bit rough so we've got the old goat enclosure just there and obviously you can see i've cut all the way around it but not inside because I'm gonna let that be strimmed because it's quite tight in there on the tractor. And this gate that I designed and made has turned out really nicely. That's probably been there now for at least a couple of years and it's holding up really nicely. But just over here, it was all going so well. And just about there is where I noticed it was broken so this area is a little bit rougher than the rest but I think it will actually be okay. 
and look at that you can see the red of the roof of the house absolutely beautiful so basically what happened was is on the actual I, I think you guys call it a brush hog in the United States Canada I just call it a brush cutter grass cutter whatever it cuts the grass and it goes through pretty much anything but you can see here this snapped this is the good one I've just taken off the tractor and I need to go and get another one right now before the store closes so I can make sure I can get this all finished tomorrow because obviously it's going to be strimmed and I can do the majority it's just the areas all around the trees that I can't do a little bit tricky with the tractor so I guess I'll catch you tomorrow with a new shear pin Good morning, it is a beautiful day. It's another sunny day here at our off-grid property. It's absolutely beautiful. It's gonna get up to about 28 degrees today, which is perfect weather to be outside and getting stuff done. I managed to get to the tractor supply store yesterday with 10 minutes to go before they closed. And unfortunately, they didn't have the correct part that I needed, but I've managed to jerry-rig something in its place as you can see andreas is already strimming away this is really going to help getting in the areas that basically i couldn't get with the tractor the next task is we need to tackle this sand that's here this was from when we did the barn conversion but there's leftover stuff that's had plants growing in it and it needs to be moved so theo is going to use the tractor to spread it out because all of this is going to be turned into a driveway and have gravel on it so num number one step step number one move the sand step number two move some stones along here to create some really nice granite edging Smoothing this out has really made a huge difference. We did also used to have a really big load of broom there, which has been removed now. And now it just seems really open, which is lovely. It'll make it easier to drive into this space as well. And once it's completely leveled out, it'll be perfect. But having all this sand distributed rather than just being in clumps like here and there is really good. Can't believe how good tractors are. <laughs> We have just got back to Miracle Mountain. The wall that Theo and John were building looks absolutely amazing, but we had to dash off before we could actually get a shot of it 
because we had to get back to get John home. So unfortunately, you're gonna have to wait till the next video to see the wall, but I'm so impressed with how it's coming along. It's gonna look really, really nice when it's done. They did an absolutely amazing job. It's lovely to be back. It is so sunny today, it's so warm. I can really feel like summer is just around the corner. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you on the next video.